Hey guys, in this video, I'll go over the top 20 best samurai anime of all time. Samurai anime is a style of Japanese animation that centers on tales from Japan's medieval past. When samurai fighters were commonplace, in addition to focusing on the internal challenges of individual samurai who must face their own shortcomings, samurai anime frequently examines the tension between traditional samurai principles and the society that is changing around them. Many of these anime also incorporate elements of fantasy or historical fiction, blending traditional samurai tales with supernatural or science fiction elements. Classics like Samurai Champloo and Roroni Kenshin are popular examples of samurai anime. Because of their epic fights, nuanced characters, and timeless themes, these anime have garnered a devoted fanbase in Japan and all across the world. Let's get started straight now. Number 10. Samurai Champloo An alternative history of Japan's Edo era serves as the setting for the anime series Samurai Champloo. The narrative centers on three odd friends, Fu, a young woman who employs Jin, a stern and accomplished samurai, and Muggen, a wild and impetuous swordsman to assist her in finding a samurai who smells of sunflowers. Along the way, Muggen, Jin, and Fu meet a variety of adversaries and friends, each with their own backstory and goals. They also learn more about the deeper connection they have with their enigmatic mission throughout the journey. Samurai Champloo is renowned for its unique fusion of comedy, samurai action, and hip-hop culture in addition to its chic animation and varied music. Fans of action-packed animation and anybody who appreciates a distinctive and imaginative take on samurai-themed storylines should not miss Samurai Champloo. It is still a cherished series among anime lovers worldwide and has established itself as a classic in the genre. Number 9. Jintama The manga work by Hideaki Sirachi served as the inspiration for the Japanese anime series Jintama. In the other dimension where the novel is set, feudal Japan has been overrun by extraterrestrial invaders. The show centers on the exploits of sluggish samurai Jintoki Sakata, who manages an odd jobs company to make ends meet. Gentama is renowned for its distinct fusion of drama, humor, and action. There are many different characters in the show, both aliens and humans, and they all have unique personalities and oddities. The show is well-liked by aficionados of the genre as it parodies a lot of well-known anime and manga. The show covers important issues like family, loyalty, and the purpose of life in addition to its comic elements. For anybody who appreciates a good chuckle and animation, Gentama is a must-watch. Being a series that defies classification, it offers a distinct mix of humor and action, making it one of the most popular anime series ever. Number 8. Basilisk A Futaro Yamada novel served as the inspiration for the Japanese anime series Basilisk. The plot revolves around the competing ninja clan, the Iga and the Koga, who have been embroiled in a bloody war for many generations. It is set in Edo period Japan. The two clans are at peace at the start of the series, but when the Shogun gives them instructions to battle to the death to decide which clan will rule Japan in the future, the ceasefire is broken. Ten fighters, referred to as the Ten Braves, are chosen by the Shogun to represent their various clans in the lethal battle. The show is renowned for its gripping action scenes, gory brutality, and examination of difficult moral issues. It has a vibrant ensemble of characters that include formidable sorcerers, lethal assassins, and expert ninja warriors. 
The cost of war and themes of responsibility and devotion are all explored in Basilisk. The series is gritty and grim, forcing viewers to face the harsh reality of Japan's feudal past. Number 7, Blade of the Immortal. Blade of the Immortal is a Japanese anime series based on Hiroaki Samura's manga. The plot is set in Edo-era Japan and chronicles the exploits of Manji, a brilliant samurai who is cursed with immortality after murdering 100 other samurai. Manji is troubled by his past and seeks forgiveness by assisting others in need. A little girl named Rin, whose parents were killed by a gang of formidable swordsmen known as the Ito Ryu, joins him. Manji and Rin face their own inner demons as they go on a mission of vengeance against the Ito Ryu. The show is renowned for its gripping action scenes, gory brutality, and examination of difficult moral issues. Themes of atonement, retribution, and the price of violence are all explored in Blade of the Immortal. The series is gritty and grim, forcing viewers to face the harsh reality of Japan's feudal past. The series is renowned for its intricate animation and breathtaking graphics as well. Number 6, Hiyaka Ryoran, Samurai Girls. A Japanese anime series called Hiyaka Ryoran, Samurai Girls is set in a different Tokugawa-era Japan, where magically-powered warriors and samurai coexist. The show centers on Mune Akira Yagayu, a youthful samurai who rises to become the leader of the Master Samurai, a troop of strong female warriors. Mune Akira learns that the Master Samurai have special magical talents that enable them to battle formidable foes and defend their realm as he trains and works alongside them. Mune Akira becomes good friends with several of the Master Samurai during the journey, including as the ferocious and uncompromising Jubei, the graceful and perceptive Sen, and the vivacious and mischievous Hanzo. However, Mune Akira and the Master Samurai soon find themselves embroiled in a power struggle between the ruling Tokugawa Shogunate and the rebel forces seeking to overthrow them. As they navigate this dangerous political landscape, they must also confront their own personal demons and struggles, including Mune Akira's own traumatic past and the Master Samurai's desire for freedom. Number 5, Mushibuyu. Mushibuyu is a Japanese anime series set in Edo era Japan, based on a manga of the same name by Hiroshi Fukuda. The series follows Jinbi Tsukishima, a young samurai who dreams of becoming a member of the Insect Magistrate's Office a special organization dedicated to protecting the citizens of Edo from giant insects that threaten their safety. After impressing the members of the Insect Magistrate's office with his bravery and skill in combat, Jinbi is appointed as their newest member. He quickly finds himself embroiled in a series of battles against a variety of dangerous insects, including giant spiders, mantises, and centipedes. Along with being stronger and more trained, Jinbi also gets closer to the other members of the Insect Magistrate's office, such as the somber and austere Hibachi, the vivacious and compassionate Tenma, and the easygoing and carefree Shungiku. They cooperate to keep Ito's residents safe from the terrifying insects that pose a danger to their way of life. Number 4, Sengoku Basara. A Japanese anime series called Sengoku Basara is partially based on actual personalities and events from Japan's Sengoku era. The show is renowned for its extravagant action scenes and exaggerated character design. The narrative tracks several historical characters in their struggle for dominance over Japan. 
including Date Masamun, Sanada Yukamura, and Oda Nobunaga. The series is known for its dramatic fight sequences, spectacular attacks, and theatrical speech. Every character has a known combat style and attitude, and conflicts frequently include vast armies and extensive devastation. The characters in the story build rivalries, alliances, and epic fights that ultimately decide Japan's fate. Along the journey, they face both the more powerful political forces that mold the course of history in their own personal demons and tribulations, themes of power, loyalty, and the battle for dominance in a violent and chaotic society are all explored in Sengoku Basara. Number 3, Hakuki. Based on a well-known video game franchise, Hakuki is a Japanese anime series. The narrative, which takes place in the late 19th century, centers on Yukamura Chizoru, a young lady who goes to Kyoto to look for her father after he goes missing. Chizoru becomes entangled in the Shinsengumi's battles in Kyoto, where the samurai are defending the city against the Choshu clan, a group of rebels against the government. Chizoru is taken under the Shinsengumi's tutelage and grows to be a valuable member of the group, supporting them in their conflict with the Choshu rebels and other adversaries. The series explores themes of duty, loyalty, and sacrifice as the characters navigate the complex political landscape of late 19th century Japan. Along the way, Chizoru becomes embroiled in a romantic relationship with one of the members of the Shinsengumi, while also facing danger and betrayal from unexpected sources. Number 2, Samurai Deeper Kyo. A manga by Akamine Kamajo served as the inspiration for the Japanese anime series Samurai Deeper Kyo. The narrative centers on the exploits of demonized Kyo, a formidable samurai fighter, and is set in Edo era Japan. Kyo is renowned for his extraordinary strength and effortless ability to vanquish his adversary. There are also rumors that he is haunted by the spirit of Kayatomi Hideyoshi, the fabled samurai. Kyo meets several other formidable fighters on his journey, including Shina Yuya, his competitor and bounty hunter. Along the way, Kyo and Yuya stumble onto a scheme to topple the Tokugawa shogunate and give the monarch back control. The show is renowned for its convoluted narrative, colorful array of characters, and action-packed combat sequences. It also has a lot of supernatural aspects, such as spirits, devils, and potent mystical objects. Fans of manga and anime with samurai themes should not miss it. Number 1, Sword of the Stranger. The narrative takes place in medieval Japan and centers on a young child named Kotaro, who is being sought after by the imperial troops of the Ming Dynasty because they think he has an elixir that would grant him immortality. Along the way, Kotaro and his devoted dog Tobameru meet Nanashi, a vagrant ronin who offers to assist them in getting to their objective. Together, Nanashi and Kotaro develop a close relationship during their voyage, and Nanashi is motivated to keep the youngster and his dog safe from the Imperial soldiers. But as they get closer to their objective, they have to deal with a gang of formidable Chinese fighters who have been recruited to kidnap Kotaro. The movie is renowned for its powerful action scenes, exquisite animation, and nuanced emotional content. In the action and samurai genres, Sword of the Stranger stands out due to its well-developed characters and painstakingly crafted combat sequences. I hope you enjoyed the top 20 best samurai animes of all time and that you'll try some of them. Hello and see you in the next video.